name is Megan Nichols and I teach social studies at St. Therese Catholic Academy. And this is how I assign and grade work using Achieve 3000. I really wanted my students to have more access to real world content about what historians and archeologists actually do. So I logged into Achieve and I clicked search. And I typed in two terms. I typed in archeology span and I also typed in the word treasure because a lot of my students have high interest in finding treasure. So I thought that that would get them excited about the content. I scroll down and I find an article that I think looks interesting. I click on it and I'm able to preview the article at the highest reading level, level that it's offered. I take a look and if it looks good, I like the article, then I also click on the activity to preview the type of comprehension questions that it will ask students, the poll question to see what type of opinion questions it will ask students, and finally the thought question, which is where students will be assessed on their writing in response to the article. If I think that this is the right article for my students, then I go back to article, I scroll down to the bottom, and I can either assign the article to students right away or add it to a unit that would consist of a series of articles on a similar topic. I decide to assign the article to students right away. From there, I can choose if it should go to an entire class or if I just want to send it to a single student or to groups of students. I can choose the date that I want it to be sent to them on. And then what I usually do is send a quick message just reiterating my directions, how they're going to be graded, and my expectations for the quality of the work. From there, once my message is finished, I'll click send, and it will be sent to students on the, a given assignment date. Once they scroll down to social studies and click on achieve 3000. From there, they make sure they drop down to my class and log in. And then they know in my class that they access the articles from their mailbox. So they go to their mailbox and they scroll to the most recent article that I've sent them, usually on that date that it's been assigned. They click on the article, right? And, and they read the directions in their email. They always get a reminder from me about what I expect in terms of the quality of their work and then they click on the article to access the material. Now for this particular article, they're accessing the content here, but they also have a worksheet that I'd printed out to really help them slow down and really process their work as opposed to just clicking through the computer too quickly. So for this article, um, first I asked students to kind of do a warm up question analyzing whether or not um, archeologists should invest a lot of time and money into fixing something that has been broken, um, a historical artifact. Then, so they're, they're warming their brain up before they even read around that issue. Then they read the article, and I've been working in conjunction with our language arts teacher to provide students with a choice as to whether or not they need to summarize every other paragraph, or they can choose to write a one paragraph summary of the entire article. This allows students to summarize and to perform at their own level. Following this, students on the computer will take uh, the multiple choice comprehension activity assignment. I ask students to write down their score on this worksheet so that they can kind of slow down if they didn't do very well and know that they need to go back and revisit the article as they do steps four and five. Or if they did quite well, they kind of have that positive affirmation that they also get to write down and record themselves. And I can access those scores through Achieve on the computer. After they finish the activity, I ask them to answer the poll question, which they answer on the computer, and then defend it. And then finally, students receive a differentiated thought question that might ask them um, different questions based on their reading level. Regardless of what their question is, their last assignment from me on this worksheet is to write a full paragraph responding to it. If students finish the assignment early, I have other work assigned to them through Achieve so that they're not wasting a minute of their learning time. And my expectation is that they finish this within one class period and turn it in before they leave. Well, I have my hard copy of the worksheet to grade. I also have access to how students did on the online activity through Achieve. So I log in, I click Admin, and I click on Student Work. From there, I drop down and News and click on activities because all I'm focusing on right now is just the comprehension activity that they did. The great thing about this feature is from here I can look at a particular class or a particular student 
and then run a report on how that student did. From the report, I can look at how students did in a given time frame or on a certain article. So from this article about an archeological dig, I'm able to see a comprehensive kind of snapshot of how students did overall both on their first attempt with comprehension questions and also on their second attempt with comprehension questions. So I can see that some students did pretty well and then there definitely are some red flags. When I'm seeing that some students did poorly, I'm able to go in and click on that particular student and to look at an individualized report of what type of questions they're doing well on and what type of questions they're struggling with. So from here, I can see if a student is struggling to determine what main idea is, but perhaps one of their strong suits is understanding new vocabulary within the context of the article. It's great because then in the future, when I'm making these worksheets again, I can perhaps provide students with more targeted support in the areas that they need. I log back in to achieve and I click on the thought question because that's where I spend most of my time when I'm paying attention to kind of the final product of their work. I take a look at the general thought question. Again, this is differentiated by student, but every student is graded by the similar um, rubric or standard. So I click on the writing rubric, I open it up, and students are familiar with this rubric because they use it and they're, they've seen it a lot. So they know that I'm gonna be looking for how well they completed the task, if they included the main idea and details, their mechanics and grammar, and then also, of course, how interesting and compelling their work is to read. So from here, students can receive direct feedback from me as opposed to just a score, but they get a copy of this rubric back with my assessment circled for each of these categories. And then on my end, of course, I can open up my grade book, and if this was a homework assignment or a classwork assignment, it can go in the grade book with a total score. So the great thing about using this program in my classroom is that I'm really able to assign really engaging articles to my students quickly that tie into what we're covering in history. Then students are able to really build a variety of skills from this content that they're so excited about. So from one Achieve article, students are doing everything from reading for comprehension, summarizing what they've read, um, building their vocabulary, and even writing really well-constructed essays or paragraphs based on that content.